Today, I'm going to talk about how to use the expanded algorithm to multiply a two-digit number times a one-digit number and how to use it to multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number. First, let's talk about this word, algorithm. An algorithm is simply steps to find the answer to a problem. So if you're using the expanded algorithm, then you're taking what you know about expanded form of a number and following steps to solve a multiplication problem. The, the first thing I would do before I even get started is I would think about what the expanded form of 23 is. I know that if I take 23, I can use the expanded form and change it to 20 plus 3. That's going to help me if I have that knowledge in my brain as I'm doing this expanded algorithm. Step one in the expanded algorithm is to simply write the multiplication problem vertically. And I tell my students who don't know what vertically means, that means write it up and down. So I'm going to write 23 times 6 vertically. Okay. The next step would be to multiply this 6 by only the ones of 23. And I've already broken it up over here, but I have this number in my head. I know that the ones section of 23 is just three. There are three ones. So I'm going to multiply six by three ones. And I know that six times three is 18. So I'll write that below the line. The next step is to multiply this six by my tens. I've already broken this up, and most of the time you can just do this in your head. I know that this 2 represents 2 tens, which stands for 20. So I'm not just multiplying 6 times 2. I'm really multiplying 6 times 20. Okay. I can use the basic fact for 6 times 2 to help me. I know that 6 times 2 equals 12. So if I'm multiplying 6 by 20, then that answer is going to be 120. I place that right below the 18. I make sure that my numbers are lined up in the proper places. That's very important for the next step. I made sure the 8 is in the 1's place and the 0 is in the 1's place. This is in the 1's place, in the 10's place. This is in the 10's place. I only have one digit in the 100's place. It is very important that these two digits, these two numbers are lined up properly because the final step, after you get your partial products, these two pieces are called partial products. Partial products. We all know that the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. A partial product is part of the answer to a multiplication problem. So both of these numbers are part of the answer to this multiplication product. We have to put both partial products together to get the final product. So by putting them together, we're going to add 18 plus 120. I start in my ones place. 8 plus 0 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus nothing is 1. So my final answer for 23 times 6 using the expanded algorithm is 138. I'm going to erase this and now let's work on a three-digit number multiplied by a one-digit number. And I'm going to show you how expanded algorithm works the same way. It just has one more row. So our three-digit number multiplied by one digit number is going to be 482 times 4. Just like the last time we did this, I could think in my mind, I could go ahead and do the expanded form for 482. This is usually step done in your head, but just for video purposes, I will go ahead and write the expanded form for 482 is 400 plus 80 plus 2. Ooh, that's not a 2. Okay. 400 plus 80 plus 2. So that's the expanded form of 482, and those are the numbers 
that I'm working with in my head as I'm doing this problem. The first step in the expanded algorithm is to write the multiplication problem vertically. So I'll do that here. 482 times 4. Now I need to multiply 4 times each piece of this expanded number. I'll start with 4 times the 2 in the 1's place. I know that 4 times 2 1's equals 8. So I'll put 8 right below the line. Now I should multiply 4 times the number in the 10's place. 4 times 8 10's. I know 8 10's is 80. I would have that in my head. 4 times 8 10's is different than just 4 times 8. Although I can use my facts for 4 times 8. I know that 4 times 8 is 32. So it's easy to figure out that 4 times 80 is 320. So I'm going to write that below the 8, and I'm going to make sure that I line up the 0 in my 320 with the 8 because those are both 1's place numbers. Those are both partial products, but I still haven't done anything with this 4 in the 100's place. So I will go back and multiply 4 times the 4 in the 100's place. That is really 4 times 400. I can use my basic fact for 4 times 4. I know that equals 16. 4 times 400 actually equals 1,600. Very important that I get that number lined up properly. All three of these now are partial products. Finally, I'm going to add all three of the partial products together, and if you do not have these numbers lined up in their proper place values, then you're going to get an incorrect answer. 8 plus 0 plus 0 equals 8. 2 plus 0 equals 2. 3 plus 6 is 9. 1 plus nothing is 1. So my final answer for 482 times 4 is 1,928. That's how you use the expanded algorithm to figure out a two-digit or a three-digit number times a one-digit number.